Before we dive into today's content, don't forget to turn on the subtitles for a clearer understanding of the video. In our previous videos, we covered the assault rifle and shotgun mimicries. Now it's time to focus on pistol and dual gun mimicries. We'll be exploring whether Solvent Rampage, Lotus Leap, or Dynamic Tracking is the best choice. So without further ado, let's find out which one reigns supreme. Let's start with the Lotus Leap Mimicry. Its passive effect boosts your firing rate by 3% for every 5% increase in movement speed, up to a maximum of 15% additional firing rate. You also gain a 5% movement speed boost for 3 seconds after using accessory skills. The idea is that with more movement speed, you get a greater firing rate boost. However, in my testing, the firing rate boost didn't seem to change, regardless of how much movement speed I had. This is a bit odd, and I hope it's just a bug in this shooting test. On the bright side, the movement speed bonus from accessory skills does work as intended. As for the active skills, you'll expend all your mutation energy to infuse your weapon with the Green Snake's powers. You'll then place a regeneration beacon that lasts for 25 seconds. Within a 400 radius of the beacon, your movement speed increases by 20% and your accessory skills cooldown is reduced by 50%. Shots fired within 5 seconds of using accessory skills will carry seeds that, upon hitting the same target 4 times, entangle them in vines for 1 second, dealing 200% additional damage. Entangled targets can't move and won't be entangled again for 5 seconds. You can use these vines to quickly return to your regeneration beacon, reducing damage taken by 80% during the process. To make the most of the 200% additional damage, you'll need to use your accessory skills frequently during this period. Just make sure to roll as much as possible and keep shooting. Overall, the Lotus Leap Mimicry focuses on speed and momentum. The passive effect is supposed to offer extra firing rate, while the active skill provides a brief golden period for spamming rolls and continuous shooting. Unfortunately, in this version, the firing rate boost from the passive effect isn't working as expected. Let's hope this gets fixed soon. Next up is the Solvent Rampage Mimicry. Its passive effect gives your next attack a random solvent enhancement every two seconds. The possible enhancements are Ice slows the target by 20% for 4 seconds. Acid reduces the target's healing by 40% for 4 seconds. Fire triggers a follow-up attack dealing 30% additional damage. If the target's HP is below 50%, it deals an extra follow-up attack. Among these, the fire enhancement stands out. It not only adds 30% more damage, but also provides an additional follow-up attack for targets below 50% HP. It's a powerful enhancement, and it would be great to see more fire enhancements while using this mimicry. For the active skills, you'll expend all your mutation energy to infuse your weapon with the Special Infected's abilities. This will automatically reload your weapon and infuse every round in the magazine with all available solvent enhancement effects for the next 10 seconds. Each round will carry the full range of effects until the magazine is reloaded again. Timing your use of this skill right after a reload is crucial to make the most of it, as you wouldn't want to waste all these enhancements during a reload. Finally, let's talk about the Dynamic Tracking Mimicry. The passive effect of this mimicry causes the signal light to flip every time you reload. When the light is red, you get a 10% increase in critical chance against moving targets. Additionally, for every 20 points of their movement speed, you gain an extra 2.5% critical chance boost. So if you see the red light above your character when you reload, you've got that 10% extra critical chance. However, during my testing, I didn't notice any change in my critical chance stats. This could be because the targets were stationary, but I hope it's not due to a bug. For the active skills, you'll expend all your mutation energy to infuse your weapon with the Special Infected's abilities. You enter a 10-second no-entry state where you can monitor all units within a 200 range. Your bullets will track and pursue moving targets near your crosshairs, dealing 35 additional damage per hit. 
with critical hits causing even more damage. Although we couldn't test it with moving targets in this target shooting mode, the fact that the active skill still shows its effects proves that it's active even if the targets aren't moving. So, which mimicry is the best choice for pistols and dual guns? Is it Lotus Leap with its elusive firing boost and 200% extra damage? Or Dynamic Tracking with its unclear passive effect? Or maybe Solvent Rampage with its random enhancements? This is a tricky question, but based on my tests, Solvent Rampage seems promising. With its passive effect providing random enhancements every two seconds, there's a 33.33% chance to get the fire enhancement, which is the best one. Plus, the active skill lets you load all enhancements into your magazine for even more damage. If Lotus Leap's passive effect worked properly, it might be the top choice, especially with the 200% extra damage for 5 seconds after rolling and using the active skill. What about you? Which mimicry would you pick, and why? Do you think the issue with Lotus Leap's passive effect is a bug, or is it just me not seeing any changes? Remember, the score in Mimicry reflects the value of each attribute. The higher the score, the better the yellow attributes. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this information useful. Don't forget to like and share to support the channel and help us create more content like this. I'll see you in the next video.